Our One South London rapper is hoping to debunk stereotypes associated with hip-hop culture by using his music to encourage change. Consensus worked closely on his latest project with Swiss scientists and produced lyrics about particle physics and social drivers. Well, let's take a look at him in action first. My data collection could outsmart Google search Selecting events like part-time steward work I'm dead Sue Morgan with the background check And I said certain as sure as I know if his cat found dead See there was a method to my madness What? There's a method to my madness well, Consensus joins us now. Thanks so much for coming in. Give us a little sense about why you felt you wanted to kind of combat what you see as stereotypes. Because someone's got to do it, and if you don't see it done and you think you're able to do it, why not? Do you know what I mean? What are those stereotypes, though, for you? Oh, oh we've only got five minutes. Um, <laughs> I, think, I think what it is in, in the smallest way possible is there needs to be a spectrum of what we see people able to do. And if people are only shown to be doing one thing and that thing has negative connotations, then we're not doing the right <clears throat> we're not doing the right job. We're all human beings, we're all people, and we have a range of different emotions, capabilities, etc. And yeah, doing a particle physics contemporary album shows that a hip hop person, a black person or whatever, can do something that also involves education or something like that. Hip-hop and education, actually, in its, root, in its roots, hip-hop is about education, community, blah, blah, blah. But it's kind of evolved since then, and even things like grime and stuff, it comes from places of oppression and whatever, but it doesn't mean oppressed people aren't smart people, do you know what I mean? So there's, like, loads of different aspects, but essentially we're all human beings, and we have a range of different spectrums and things to explore, so that was kind of what I was trying to do. So let's talk about your most recent project. So you go to Switzerland, just give us an idea yeah, of, kind so of what CERN, it's about. Um, the Hadron Collider, the thing where they like smash the atoms together, uh, this, like, the, 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 the Higgs boson, I don't know if you know about that. So kind of, I went there via a friend uh, who represents a, an establishment called Worldwide Connects, and then he put me in contact with a, an artist slash scientist at CERN, and they do this program called um, Art at CMS, and CMS is the detector. So what they do is they get artists, collaborative artists and um, scientists, they put them together and they reinterpret and just, just cross that boundary of where art ends and science begins, or and the whole philosophy of that. So I'm the first music artist to do that whole bridging the gap of science and, and art there. And when it came to your lyrics, especially for that video where you could see you're actually there, oh, yeah. <laughs> what, how, you know, how much of it is scientific? Oh yeah, so, I, so because I was partnered with a scientist, um, I went in as far as possible as, unless they've discovered something new. So in terms of the science that's there, there's like some high level mathematics. It's the song, I've, I've done a song on my album called The Higgs, it's literally what the Higgs is, but like on a on a level where you're you can find equations to match the lines and the analogy. So the analogy is as uh, the, the deep the deepest analogy based on uh, the edu on, the, on the information that I could that I could get. But at the same time, it's musical as well. It wasn't like this e equals blah 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 <laughs> and whatever. It was more like if we make particles people, or if we talk about society as like some of the science or the concepts, can people understand it without having to have that priory knowledge of um, of maths and physics at post university level. It's kind of touched on my next question, really, which is, who's your music for? Is it for scientists? Is it for music lovers? Is it for well, both? It's, it's it, for me, and then the last song of the album it kind of explain explores that, but it, it's 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 art essentially, and it's on the surface it just raises awareness or an expression of what I believe is important. But when you get into the lyrics. It's, you can take what you want from it. If you want to learn about particle physics to that level, you can get it. If you don't, but you just want to be exposed to it, you just look at the titles and stuff like that. So it's, it's, it has everything there, but you take what you want from it. In, in most cases, that's, that's mainly what art does. Fantastic consensus. Thank you so much for joining us this lunchtime. Thanks. Now you're watching London Live News. Still to come, 